Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, Anibal. Good evening. Good evening. How's it going? Sure, the first. <laughs> hey, that's fantastic. Okay, so we're going to wait a little bit, okay, for the rest of the people. Okay, Aniva? We're going to wait for a while. Está temprano. It's very early, early, early. <laughs> so this is the first time you are with me? Es la primera vez que está en, 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 mis, en mis clases? Sí, anteriormente estábamos con la, con la teacher Arely. Ah, ok. Ok. So, a new adventure. Nueva aventura, ¿no? Ok. <laughs> Aiden. Hello, Aiden. Hello, teacher. Hello, Aiden. Welcome. Welcome back. Thank you. Okay. I can see Ronan there. Ronan is just getting into the class. Okay. Have three people, and you know, we're on time. We're missing, uh, like, it's like two minutes to eight. So we're on time, right? So take it easy. Hey, Ronan, how's it going? Hi, teacher. Hi. Good to see you in the class again. Hope you're more than ready. Hey, uh, I mean, did you did you type the email in English? Did you type the email? Did you create an, an English email? An email in English? Yes. Excellent. Quite good. So you're going to share it with us tonight, uh, Aníbal. Okay, let us wait a little bit because people are still... Um, it's almost time to start with. Let us wait a little bit, a couple of minutes, okay, so that I can check the list of tenders. There is something that I actually do at the very beginning of the class, okay, so just for you to know it, uh, Aníbal. I have Maria Elba over here. I have Oscar Antonio. Jonathan just came into the class. Good evening, Oscar. I have Jonathan here. Hi there. Maria Elba, Aiden. Okay, almost, almost time to start, right? It's 8 o'clock. Well, I hope you are okay, and I hope that you are uh, willing to start a new class. You know, it's going to be like 120 minutes, right, over here. So I hope that you can uh, take advantage of time. And something that's quite important over here is that you can have a, a great time as a group, right? So we can learn and we can enjoy at the same time. I have Edgar over here. Eda, Edgar just came into the class. Welcome. I have Daniel. Daniel just came into the class also. Well, hello. Hi, Daniel. Hope everything's all right. Do the favor to activate your camera if it is possible. I have uh, Teresa also. I know Teresa is going to be as a listener tonight. Okay. I can see Veronice. Good evening, Veronice. Good evening, sir. Okay, good to see you here. I can see Oscar there. Uh, Aidan, Edgar. And okay, I will check the list of attendance just to see about the people who 
got uh, connected at the very beginning of the class. Remember that I will check the list at the end so that I can record your, your, your attendance. So, What's the date today? Okay, Mario Cristobal. Okay, today is Tuesday, June the 20th, right? And I have Aidan. Good evening, Aidan. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Belen. Claudia Veronica. Daniel. Present teacher. Dina Maribel. <clears throat> Edgar. Gladys Rubiria. Jonathan. Present teacher. Maria Elba. I saw Maria Elba there. Eh, Mario Cristobal. Present teacher. Que All right. Okay, Maria, don't worry. Eh, Mario Cristobal. Verenice. Hi, teacher. Hi there. Present. Michael. Noe Aniva. Uh, Michael is there and also Noe, right? Yeah. They have Michael and uh, Noe Aniva. And, all right. Norma Xiomara. Hi, teacher. Hi, Norma. Oscar Hi. Antonio. Present teacher. All right, Oscar. Ronan. I, Hi, teacher. Present. All right. I know Teresa is there. She's also listening tonight. And also Vera Liz. Present teacher. Quite good. Fantastic. Now, Mario Cristobal is not out here yet. Gladys Rubidia. Edgar. Dina, Raimundo, Belen, and that's it, right? So I will check it later. So welcome back, people. I hope that you are okay and that you're willing to start a new journey, a new class. But important to keep uh, a good attitude and also to keep concentrating 100% during the class. Okay, now how's everything, Aníbal? How are you? How are you doing? Good night. Okay, good evening. Remember, good evening is to say hello, right? Good evening, you say good evening, everyone. Okay, so good night is when you want to say goodbye, but good evening, you say hello, right? So that's the difference between good evening, good night, okay? Good evening, people. Good evening. Good evening. No, no, yes, right? So it's different, right? So if I say good night, so I'm saying goodbye, okay? okay? Now, Cristobal says good evening. Uh, okay, so Mario. Yes, Mario oh. Cristobal. Okay, Mario, I will check the, I, I will check it now. Don't worry. Oh, let's see. Oh, so here. Okay, Mario. Yesterday you had some problems, right? You stayed Hello. on here. Mario? Hola. Buenas noches. Yeah. Good morning. Good evening. Uh, yesterday you had some problems, uh, maybe internet connection problems. 
el día de ayer. Yeah, so hopefully tonight you, you're staying with us during the 120 minutes. You know, it's quite important. Very, very important, okay? So no matter okay. if you understand everything or if you are still uh, struggling with what I'm saying in English, you know, the, the, the more you stay connected with the language, the more English you are going to get, you're going to learn, all right? So welcome, welcome back to a second uh, session. This is our second session. You already know what's coming tonight, okay? But anyways, I, I love to go back in time and to have some review. People who uh, were with me in the previous uh, level of English know that uh, I tend to go back then to advance and then just, if it is possible to move on, by by doing some other exercises, but what really matters is that we learn, okay? But there is, every single time we get into a class, there is a specific topic. Yesterday, we started with simple present tense, yes or no? Yeah, so we discover or we learned a lot of verbs, right? And also we had, we had, we had some review about Third person singular, first person singular, second person singular, plural, etc. You already know that, right? So it is important to know about grammar because when, when we speak, okay, Belen, good evening. All right. You're going to be listening tonight. Okay, thanks for letting me know, Belen. Okay, so hopefully you can solve. If you can participate there would be would be quite good. Okay. Well, we're gonna start. Uh, I already checked the, the activities in the platform. And just for you to notice that I'm not lying when I when I tell you that I can see everything there. Let me tell you that I saw like four people, only four people who started the activity in the platform. And I wonder what happened with the rest. But maybe when, when the class is over, they say, okay, good night. And that good night is really it. See you tomorrow. And then you go to bed, right? You don't do, you don't do the homework assignment. <laughs> and you know, and, but teacher Kike is there, like, you know, working with, with, with by checking your homework, checking your attendance. And well, I actually go to bed at the 11 sometimes. But you say it's 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, okay? Algunos son muy, 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 muy puntuales. Cuando se acaba la clase, quizá ya tienen la camita ahí arregladita y por un goque, démosle. Hasta que se hizo de día otra vez. Porque lo crean o no, yo reviso la plataforma. Ahí estoy viendo que hay cuatro personas. Cuatro personas. No lo, no lo voy a mostrar porque no, no se trata de eso. Solo quiero que, que sí se den cuenta que yo estoy muy pendiente de ustedes. Me interesan que avancen, que cumplan, pero que aprendan. Mm, que aprendan y que cumplan. Eso me interesa demasiado. Si yo, es, revisando la plataforma, vi que hay como cuatro personas que iniciaron la actividad. Solo el 20% se ve reflejado ahí. Entonces vamos a hacer algo. Los que no han terminado la actividad lo van a hacer ahorita, ¿ok? De tal modo que quede registrado. Ya mmm, más noche, ya cuando ustedes estén durmiendo, yo voy a estar revisando la plataforma, ¿ok? De hecho, hoy les va a quedar otra tarea, ¿ok? La plataforma es automáticamente, ustedes saben que hay tarea ahí todas las noches. Así que al cerrar la clase... Un, vamos para hacer la tarea y después de la tarea, ok, a dormir. No les va a robar ni siquiera unos siete minutos. En realidad son actividades cortas, pero son actividades muy importantes que ayudan a reafirmar lo que hemos estado estudiando. Y el siguiente día, casi siempre me gusta iniciar con eso para hacer un precalentamiento y luego continuar con lo que, con lo que traigo para esta noche. Y de esa manera voy observando avances, voy observando si alguien se está descuidando. Ok, sé que necesito esfuerzo, claro, necesita esfuerzo. Y yo sé que ustedes lo van a lograr. 
Okay, now I will I will start as I told you, right? But sharing sharing um the the information in the platform. Okay, this is the exercise. I told you, right? I told you yesterday. Uh something that I want you, well, later, Larry, you are gonna share what you what you were like working in with during the class. Recuerdense que en la clase siempre deben tener un, un documento. El documento Word es el mismo documento. Ok, siempre van a abrir el mismo documento en donde, en donde ustedes van a ir este, tomando apuntes. Ok, de qué pues aprendieron alguna frase, alguna palabra. Y de hecho, pues ahora le voy a pedir al finalizar, le voy a pedir a algunos que nos muestren qué que, que es lo que han aprendido. Que es lo que aprendieron de la clase de ayer. Okay. So, well, over here, I have uh, the exercise. As you can see, it says homework. What, where is the number of this homework? Homework number? One. Number one. So, you, one. you see, they are also numbered over here, right? So, there's no any. Well, tonight, you're going to get number number two, right? But this is number one. Yesterday we were talking about simple present tense, okay? And we were um, just studying some verbs, right? And uh, we studied some grammar, etc. right? So, and over here, the instructions about this activity. Well, hopefully you already opened the platform. ¿Ya abrieron todos la plataforma? Ok, los voy a esperar. Eso es lo, es, vamos, siempre vamos a iniciar con eso, ok, con la plataforma. Si alguien ya lo hizo, pues muy bien. Vamos a hacer el repaso. Ok, ¿estás listo? ¿Estás listo? ¿Estás listo? Ok, hope everybody is ready. Espero que todos estén listos, ¿ok? Now, uh, multiple choice. This is very easy. When you see multiple choice in an exercise, you say, ah, oh, well, there is going to be a piece of cake, right? It's going to be very easy. And actually, it is very easy, ¿ok? Now, I in the morning. So, I have three options. I, I take a shower, I take a shower, or I take a shower in the morning. Number one, I number two, or number three? Take a shower. Take a shower. Number two. Take a shower. Okay, I take a shower in the morning. Daniel, could you could you please read the, the, the sentence? The complete sentence? I take a shower in the morning. Okay, very good. Everybody, shower. 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 I take a shower. Shower. I take a shower in the morning. Good. Number two, my boss emails. If, actually, you have a homework assignment about an email, right? So you're gonna share what you did also. I remember about homework number two. My boss emails every day. Sin, Cindy, since Daniel, what do you think? I think since. Since. My boss sends emails every day. My boss sends emails every day. Pretty good. Number three, my co-workers meeting on Friday. Jonathan. My co-workers have meeting on Friday. My co-workers have meetings on Fridays. Fantastic. Number four, I have Veronice. The secretary usually late to work. Arrives. Okay, arrives late to work. Pretty good. And I think this is the last one. Hey, you see, how long did it take? Let me see. Uh, Ronan, we never on weekends. We never work on the weekends. Okay, we never work on weekends. So number two, right, Ronan? Number, number three. Ah, it's, it's the third Three one, then. Works. All right, it's the third one. Now, if I, if I send it, so if you send it, it, it gets 
uh, I mean, the platform uh, registers your answers, okay? So if you don't do so, the, the platform is not gonna be able to record your progress, okay? No se les olvide siempre darle click a enviar para que la plataforma registre su avance. Now we're gonna see the answers, okay? Now the first one, my boss, sends emails. Okay, now I know that we uh, haven't done it, uh, we haven't studied about uh, negative statements with simple present, but anyways, I know that you studied that in, when you were in the basic level of English number one. I'm telling you because I I uh, I started with it uh, last month. Okay, so if I say my boss emails every day, my boss sends emails every day, how do you do that sentence in the negative form? Negative. Type it in the chat, please. My boss doesn't Daniel? send emails every day. Uh, Daniel, do me the favor to type it in the chat. Type it in the chat, please. Okay. So that everybody can see it. My boss doesn't send emails every day. How do you create a question, Aníbal, with the same sentence, with the same information? Siempre la uno. La, la dos, perdón. Yeah, I mean, yeah. number two. Pretty good, Daniel. That's quite good. That's the way it is in the native form. Siempre, ¿verdad, teacher? Yeah, my boss, my boss sends emails every day. Now, how would you create a question with the same information? Question? Question, question, don't worry, okay? Because I know I need to go over it later, but I, I need to know if you are, if you somehow have, have the idea on how to create questions with, with it. Think a little bit. If there is somebody who can help Aníbal, that would be fantastic, okay? Question, right? Just for you to remember, okay, there, there is something that I call auxiliary, right? Auxiliaries do all that, okay, so that, those are the ones that we use to create questions and also to create negative statements. So, but if you do not remember, don't worry, Aníbal. Oh, okay. Okay, look at the chat, Aníbal. Does your boss send emails every day? And the question one. Okay, so that would be, it is your, right? Does your boss send emails every day? Okay, Aníbal? Okay, so keep it in mind because you, you need to get familiarized with it. We're gonna get there uh, soon. Okay, in the number three, I have my co-workers have meetings on Friday. Negative form, people. Norma, negative form. My co-workers have meetings on Fridays. My co-workers, negative. Yes. 
You don't remember, Norma? Don't worry, because later we're going to have some review of it, about it. Okay, Norma, don't worry. Now, who knows about the way to print the negative statement with my co-workers had meetings on Fridays? Negative statement, people. My co-workers don't have meetings on Friday. Keep it in mind. If we want to create questions, do your co-workers have meetings on Fridays? Number four, secretary. That's, let me see, somebody is chatting there. My co-workers don't have meetings. Excellent, pretty good, Bernice. That's the way it is. That is the way it is. Now, for people, if you want to check in, Okay, and if you if you don't want to be like typing a lot of information, you can take the ideas about about people typing in the chat. Okay. Para los que están tomando apuntes, pues también pueden pueden copiar la información que están dando los compañeros ahí en en el chat para para siempre mantenerse concentrado en la actividad. Lo copian, lo pegan en su documento y seguimos en la actividad. Okay, uh, well, actually, the, those are the, the exercises. Now, they are only five. They are only five exercises, right? And they are multiple choice. So I hope everybody's done. ¿Ya todos lo terminaron? ¿Ya todos lo enviaron? Yes. Ok, espero que eso sea así, que ya todos lo hayan enviado. A ver si vamos a iniciar con la clase, ok. Eso es, era parte de la clase de ayer. Pues ahora tengo algo que me encantó mucho, es un audio que me va a permitir. Let's see, where is the... A co-worker, Miguel, Michael, eh, who knows? What's the meaning of co-workers, people? What's the meaning? Who can, who can help Michael? What's the meaning? Yeah. Compañero de trabajo. Excellent. Very good. Michael, do you get it? Michael? What? Do you get the meaning? Co-worker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Hey, listen. Okay. Over here, something that I, I, I usually um advise my students is to open Google and to look for a translator, right? Translate error, all right? So you type translator there and then you automatically have a translator there. Now, if you have any question, then you type the question there and then you see the, the answer, you see the meaning, right? So say coworker, okay, now you get the meaning, right? So that would be quite good if you get, if you get, I mean, if you get a translator with you, that would be really nice. Okay, piece of advice, right? Just in case you you, you need it. Es, hay muchos estudiantes, participantes que siempre abren un traductor o un diccionario y eso está muy bien. Okay, eso nos ayuda a optimizar, a optimizar tiempo. Hey. Now, what do I have here? There's a there's an audio, right? Okay, I have an audio in here that's about that's about a daily routine. The last, I think you already know what daily daily routines are all about, and we're gonna see ooh, a conversation. Okay, the telephone have or or uh, actually let us know about. Um, the activities uh, Garrett uh, does during the week, right? After this, well, something that I highly recommend you to do, and what are we gonna this? What are we going to listen to this uh, conversation? Is because I, I I want you, I want you to take notes about new vocabulary, right? The link I will share it. It's in the book. It's in the students' guide. 
But actually, we share it doing here. As you, let me know if you if you can see it in the chat. That is the link of this conversation. Okay, it is two minutes forty three seconds. Okay, it's not that long, but actually it has a lot of vocabulary over here. And the way and something that I, I liked about this audio is is about the way they communicate. They do it very naturally, right? So. What are we gonna do with this? But you will see soon. Do me the favor to to pay special attention to every single um, expression. Okay, here we go. ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer acá antes de continuar? Quiero que presten especial atención a la pronunciación. Okay, primero. Segundo. Van a buscar palabras que ustedes consideren es necesario buscarlas, ¿ok? A lo mejor schedule, uh, downstairs, uh, bold, not this bold of them, etc. Right. So you, then you choose the vocabulary, right? ¿Ok? Ahí ustedes van, van eh, recogiendo vocabulario que, por supuesto, se lo, se lo deben de aprender. Ok, here we go. Are you ready? Voy poniéndole pausas para que ustedes me vayan diciendo, pues, qué, qué, qué vocabulario pues, podríamos sacar de acá. Uh, so, uh, Gareth, what's your daily routine like? So, Gareth, what's your daily routine like? Mm, my routine is actually a little irregular. Um, mm. I have a different working schedule for each day of the week. Nice. Um, but on a weekend, my son usually wakes me up about half eight, nine o'clock. And um, <laughs> after that, we go downstairs and I get him some um, cereal. Like a, He likes at the moment uh, chocolate rice krispies. Mm. And um, he has a bowl of them and we watch um, Toy Story. He, he loves buzz. And Woody. Buzz and Woody. All right. So, new vocabulary over here, people. Hello, hello. Help me with the. Sorry. Okay, choose, choose, people. Actually, you have the link, right? So you have the link. Now, then Rebecca says, pay attention to what Rebecca says. Well, I will, I think I will play it once uh, at once so that you can listen to the whole message because it's uh, a little bit long. So, and it would take too long. Okay, schedule. Michael says schedule. All right, Michael. Take notes, okay? Ahí vayan tomando apuntes. De igual manera, pues ahí les compartí el enlace. En caso ustedes quieran regresar y, y visualizar algo que no les quedó claro. Okay, here we go. So. Every day, every weekend, the same movie. Exactly, again and again and again. Yeah, so we, we watch it a lot. Um, uh, on, on, on weekdays, though, mm -hmm. I um, usually wake up at 6 a.m. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I have to go to work at 8, so I, I um, commute. On, on the bus and train and that takes an hour and a half um, mm. it takes a long time and um, then I work I get home about seven ish mm -hmm. um, have dinner with my wife usually if I come home late uh, she waits and um, she'll have dinner with me um, mm. and sometimes she, she waits until like nine oh. yeah pretty late so uh, uh, it's really nice um, mm -hmm. Do you are you a morning shower person or nighttime bath relax person? Or? Ah, yeah. Um, so actually, um, I think I'm a kind of night owl. Um, uh -huh. I work much better in the evening and mm -hmm. I get m more done. Um, in the morning, I'm a little bit like a zombie. <laughs> but these last years working and have kind of trained me to be a, an early bird, uh, waking mm -hmm. up so early as I do. Um, I've kind of adapted to it. So. Mm -hmm. Um, but I much prefer the evening. So you would come home from work and eat dinner and 
do you then take like the bath to calm down to go to bed at night or uh no uh actually i prefer showers than than baths but um yeah i i, I usually relax with my family and um watch a movie or uh-huh. read a book uh, my son's really into um, Dr. Zeus books, the um, classic um, children's books um, from back home, and um, uh, they're, they're great. They're even from for me, like um, that's the good thing about having kids. You kind of um, um, get um, reattached to your um, uh, and, and feel kind of nostalgic about your your old um, activities, like the yeah. things that you did when you were a child. So it's great. All right. So that's actually the conversation. Uh, I played at once so that we can uh, get familiarized with it. Uh, Mar- Maribel says, uh, oh yeah, Maribel, I'll do it now, I'm sorry. Let me see if it is possible for me to, let me see. I'll stop sharing. I'll stop sharing that I can, I can share it in the WhatsApp group. Give me a second, please. I'll share it in WhatsApp group. It actually, it's in the in the in the in the students' guide, right? But I'll do it over here. Okay, it's, it's almost done. Well, meanwhile, it, I shared the, the link in the, in the WhatsApp group. Oh, yeah, it's, now I got it. Okay, now you can see the link in the group of people. You can see, you can see it in the group. Okay, now coming back to the to the activity. Well, we, to be the favor to to check right what we have in here. So, what are some of the activities about Gare? What are some activities Garek does during the week? What are some activities that Garek does during the week? Uh-huh. Can somebody tell me about it? My routine is actually a little irregular. I have a different working schedule, right? So schedule for each day of the week. But on, on a weekend, on a weekend, my son usually wakes me up about half eight, nine o'clock. And after that, we go downstairs and get him some cereal like he likes. At the moment, chocolate rice crispies and he has a bowl of them. And we watch Toy Story. He loves Buzz and Goody. So sentences in simple present, people. Is this simple present? Simple present, yes or no? Yes. 
Yeah, right. So yeah. What about this one? My son <laughs> usually wakes me up about eight, half eight, nine o'clock. Simple present. Yes. Yeah, we go. Right? We go downstairs. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Are oh, you getting him some cereal? He, he likes at the moment chocolate, right? Yeah. He has a bowl of them. We watch Toy Story, right? So actually, that simple person, as you can see, well, it sounds like like the person speaks too fast, but it is something very easy, something that we have been studying lately, right? So there is no any problem. So what about? There are some time expressions over here. We're gonna see uh, time expressions tonight. That is a topic for tonight. And well, we have some uh, expressions that tell us about how often somebody does the activity, right? So usually it's one of them every weekend. It's a time expression. Okay, and now let me know about the activities or, or the sentences that you see over here in simple present tense. Simple present statements, people. Simple present. We watch it. A lot, yes or no? Oh, pretty good. Now, Claudia is, is working now. Pretty good, Claudia. Thank you. Have to work at eight. Now, now, now that, that you can interact with the screen, you can you can underline, right? I come here. Have dinner with my wife. Excellent. I have dinner with my wife. I come home late. I commute. I commute. Right. So this is another verb. She wait. Okay. She I work. Pretty good, Maria. Excellent. I get mm -hmm. home about seven each. Usually. Uh, okay, Jonathan. Takes it takes a long. It takes a long. Where is it? Uh it takes a long time. It takes a long time, right? It takes a long time. So you see, it full up. Uh, sentences about simple present tense. All right. Now we are just getting more familiarized with the topic. Wow, yeah, pretty late. You know, time expression that's over here. Sorry, time expression that's over here. Pretty, pretty late. Okay, Perfect. time expression. Okay, that we can use with it. Now in the morning. Really are, you, nice. are you a morning shower person or a nighttime bath? Are you a morning shower person or a nighttime bath? A relaxed person. Well, later you're going to see what's a, an early bird or an early bird. Claudia, okay, very good. What's an, an early bird or a night owl? Okay, so you will, you're going to explain it later. Okay, because... Because, you know, later you're going to produce something with the vocabulary that we are studying over here. Actually, I think I'm kind of a night owl. I work much better. Simple present, right? Simple present is coming back. I think I'm kind of a night owl. I work much better in the evening. I get more done. In the morning, time expression, I'm a little bit like a zombie. But these last years working have kind of trained me to be an early bird. You see, early bird is the opposite of the night owl, right? Later, you know, are you a, a, an early bird or a night owl? ¿Cómo se consideran ustedes? Early bird, night owl. Early bird, una ave mañanera, night owl, es una ave nocturna. ¿Le gusta develarse o le gusta mañanear? A eso se refiere, okay? Early bird. Oh. Or night owl. Night owl. <laughs> you're a night owl. Okay. Night <laughs> owl. So so later you're gonna use this vocabulary. You will see. Okay, Mary, thank you. 
Okay. Now, so will you come home from uh, from work and eat dinner and then take it like a bath to come down and to go to bed at night? So you see more simple. Yeah. Let's see, there's someone that's chatting over here. Early bird, very nice. Okay. Early bird. Later, you're going to let us know about it. Now, actually, I prefer, you see, there's another verb here, simple present. I prefer showers than bath, but yeah, I usually, time expression, right? Relax with my family and watch a movie or read a book. My son's really into Dr. Seuss book. Their classic children's book from back home, and they are great, even for me. Like, that's a good thing about having kids. It you is. kind of get re re reattached to your and feel kind of nostalgic what, what about your all activities, like the things that you did when you were a child. Hey, well, that was quite good. Now, I, I'm not going to play it again. I already um, presented the information. Later, you're going to be in charge of uh, presenting the your, your the activities that you do um, uh, frequently, and then you are going to be in charge of using some vocabulary from here. Yeah. Okay. Después, se le va a solicitar que nos presenten sus actividades eh, utilizando presente simple y, pues, me gustaría escuchar que utilizan vocabulario que se les está presentando, ¿ok? Vocabulario que hay, aquí hay mucho vocabulario, ¿ok? Que ustedes pueden utilizar en sus presentaciones. Ok, now, is there any question about this? There's a quiz over here, there's, a, there's something about vocabulary, there's a, also a quiz over here, but, well, actually I'm using this, this conversation only to introduce our topic. Okay, now stop sharing this part. And I will go over this part, which is our topic for tonight. Okay. Now this is our topic, right? Time expressions with daily routines. Actually, uh, to talk about time expression, we need to talk about daily routines. And in the conversation, as you could see, we have simple present. We have some expressions such as weekly, every week, uh, usually, et cetera. So those are expressions that somehow, let's know about, about how frequently somebody does an activity. Now, I have something on here. Now, what so, time do you, what time does Peter wake um, up? What time do you wake up? What time? Peter so. wakes up at nine. Yes or no? Peter wakes up at nine. This is a question that we can use, right? With simple prayer. What time do you wake up? ¿A qué hora te despierta? Okay. Wake up, despertar. Get up, levantarse. Es diferente. Yeah. 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 Peter wakes up at 9 a.m. What time does Peter wake up? Who can answer that question? Peter wakes up at 9 a.m. So, Peter wakes up at 9 a.m. Okay, what time do you wake up? Hey, what time do you wake up? I will ask the question because I can see that I, I want everybody I to participate. Up. I... Uh -huh. I wake at... Um... 5 a.m. You wake up at 5 a.m. Okay. Yes. That's fantastic. Hey, Jonathan, what time do you wake up? I wake up at 
five o'clock. Five o'clock. So there is a club. You say every single day, five o'clock, and then you wake up. Do you have an alarm? Yes. <laughs> yes, you do have an alarm, right? Now, what about you, Michael? What time do you wake up? I wake up um 3 a.m. At 3 a.m.? 3 in the morning? Very early morning? Yes. Wow. You are an early bird. And you also are a night owl. <laughs> so. No duerme, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Belen says, hey, I wake up at 4.30 a.m. Right, Belen. Okay, now get up. Now, this is another verb, right? Different from wake up, but get up. Peter gets up at 9, 10 a.m. Too late, right, for some people. Uh, but at least what time do you get up? I get up at... 6 30 a.m. 6 30. Okay. Edgar, what time do you get up? I get up at 5 a.m. At 5 a.m., right? A.m. A.m. in the morning. Okay. And that's it, pretty good. Now, let me see. I have Noah has meal with cereal and coffee for breakfast. What do you usually have for breakfast, uh, Oscar? But let's see, let us, let us ask first, what, what time do you get breakfast? Or what time do you have breakfast, Oscar? Oscar Antonio. Hola, hola. Hello, Oscar. Hola, hola. Yeah, now yes, I listen to you perfectly. What time do you have breakfast? Hola, me escucha, teacher. Yeah, Oscar, I can listen to you clearly. Teacher, lo voy a escribir porque estoy teniendo conexión y le escucho cortado. Okay, Supongo okay, Oscar. Me está preguntando la. Yeah, Oscar. What do you usually have for breakfast? Or what time do you have breakfast? Okay. Let's see the chat. Okay, if you want. I usually use breakfast cereal. And you usually have cereal for breakfast. Yes, okay. Cereal. okay, cereal for breakfast. All right, very good. Thank you. And let me see, you have a lot of expressions over here. Now expressions that we usually use, right? Luis brushes his teeth every morning. Now in, over here, now we are just getting into the expressions that I told you, right? Time expression, every morning, right? Every morning is a time expression. When does Louis brush his teeth? Every morning, right? In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night, at night, okay? So in the morning, in the, at lunch, okay? In the afternoon and at night. Now we have more expressions over here. Ma shaves. Also, do me the favor to notice about the verb. This, what is this verb? Every morning. Yeah, what is this verb? Say once a week, you shave. Ronan, what is this verb? We're learning verbs, right? Estamos aprendiendo verbos. También, estamos aprendiendo time expressions y verbos. Y por supuesto, haciendo un repaso del presente simple. ¿Cuál es este verb? Brush. Brush is the verb. 
brush. I brush, you brush, he brushes, Louis brushes, she Please brushes, etc. Right? So the verb is brush. Maribel, what about this verb? Where is this verb? Rasurar, afectar. Uh, yeah, but how do you say rasurar in English? Shave. 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 Okay, shave. so this is the verb. I shave, you shave, he shaves, etc. Now, what is the time expression? ¿Cuál es la expresión de tiempo que tenemos? Once a week. Once a week. Okay, it is pronounced once a week. Once a week. Now, over here we have every morning. Over here we have once a week. In the next one, We have Linda does the makeup every day before work. Do you do the, the makeup? Actually, the very is like put on makeup, right? Does the makeup okay? It is all right. Yeah. And every day is a time expression, right? Every day. Every day. Hey, when does Linda do the makeup? Well, she does the makeup every every day. Every day. But Mark shapes once a week and Louis brushes his teeth every morning. So you see, quite important to notice about time expressions. Every morning, once a week, uh, every day. Time expressions, okay? That's what we are studying, people. We also have this, what is, what is this verb? What is this action? Where's the action? Take a shower. Take a shower. I take a shower. What about Leonor? How often does Leonor take a shower? Twice a day. Excellent. So this is the time expression, right? Twice a day is the expression. Twice a day. So keep it in mind. Because later you will use it twice a day, twice a day, once a day, twice a day, uh, once in a week, twice in a week, once in a month, twice in a month, etc. Right. So it's, you can use this expression in different contexts. What about this expression? Comes. Ah, uh, Leslie mm -hmm. comes. Your hair come your hair. Do you come your hair every day? You come your every day. Okay, time expression every day. Every day. Yeah, time expression twice a day. They get dressed before the school. Okay, they get dressed before going to school, right? So somehow this is like time expression, right? Before going to school, okay? That's a different one. Before f before the school. Yeah. Michael walks the dog every afternoon. Uh, do you have a pet, people? Yeah. Give me a second. There's somebody who has some music. Okay, uh, thank you. Ronan, do me the favor to close your microphone. Okay, Ronan. Now, over here we have every afternoon, every afternoon, every afternoon, time expression, right? So, hey, when I ask you to provide some information about what you usually do during the day, then you can talk also about your pets. Do you have a pet? 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 Now, Jonathan, do you have a pet? Yes. Yeah, okay. I have pet. three dogs and one cat. 
<laughs> you have three dogs and a cat? Yeah. My goodness. Aidan, do you have a pet? Yes. You say, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, yeah. What kind of animals do you have? What kind of pets do you have at home? Dogs, cats, common pets, right? Not weird pets like spiders or monkeys. Or... <laughs> <laughs> there there are some people who have like, like very, very weird uh, pets, right? Okay. Now, there's Ke not... Keko. If you have a ke keko, a keko... That's a pet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. If you want to share, ah, oh, Mary yeah. has a fish. Uh, Mary has seven fish. Oh, very right, good, Mary. Hey, what is the verb in this? What, how do you say this activity in English? Exercise. Yeah, exercise, lift um, weight, work, work, workout. Workout. Yeah, this is a workout every week. Do you work out? Time expression, every week. Listen to music, time expression, all the time. All the time. Okay, we are almost getting to the end, people. We have okay. just, oh, yeah. Oh. They go to school. Hey, time expression is like saying the time, right? The time itself at seven o'clock, eight o'clock. They go to work at eight o'clock. They go. She has salmon and salad for lunch. Has okay, lunch, lunch time. Diego watches TV. When does Diego watch TV? At nine. At nine. nine. Time, time expression. At nine. They are playing video games. Hey, do you like do you like video games, people? Yes. Hey, what kind of video games like? Hmm. Sunday. There are now nowadays there are a lot of that's there's a bunch of video games, right? Weekend. Okay. Yeah, every weekend is a time expression, right? Mm -hmm. When do you play video games? Every day. Every weekend. Yeah, play uh, you Sunday. play video games every weekend. Okay. Very good. At night. At night? Mm -hmm. After the English course, you play video games. <laughs> but you don't, you don't do the homework, right? But you play video games. <laughs> yeah, this is this is quite good, right? Do you do the homework? After class. <laughs> after the class, right? Yeah, after the, just after the class, you go to the platform and do the homework. Fantastic. Okay. Now, every afternoon, time expression, verb, dance. Every afternoon, time expression, dance is the verb. Spaghetti, oh, spaghetti and for dinner, for what? dinner. Now, yeah. actually, dinner, you know, it tells us somehow that's at night, right? There is no directly a time expression, but we already know that's at night. Uh, Lisa sleeps at 10 and that's, that's the way it is, right? So, routine, repeated actions we usually do several times. Now, I will stop by here because, you know, uh, later we're going to continue with some more info. Any question? No. No, no question. Okay, no so... I will stop sharing this part and do me the favor to go. We're gonna do the following. So it's time for you to produce something, people. Well, actually, it's it's nine o'clock. Well, just before continuing continuing with the class, 
Let me define what to share what you type in your email. Me van a, me van a compartir, van a leer qué es lo que escribieron en ese, en ese email. ¿Ok? Quiero escuchar cuáles expresiones usaron, eh, si ocuparon el presente simple. ¿Qué de provecho le sacamos a esa actividad? Ok. Uh... People who haven't participated in chat. ¿Quién es falta de participar esta noche? ¿Ya todos participaron? Yes. Wow, este grupo está fantástico. Ok, volunteers then. Volunteers, need volunteers to share the email. Not everybody at the same time, huh? just one by one. Claudia. Okay. Uh, of Claudia Torres, el 25 y 20, tú eh, es correo. Dear College, thank you for the information. For the construction of the project in 2024. Please send documents to send in specify placing thank you again in Claudia. Claudia. Wow, that is fun. That was fantastic. You know, very professional, Claudia. Uh, why don't you share it in the WhatsApp group? That would be really nice, right? For people who, who, who accomplish with the activity, sería perfecto que dejaran plasmado en el, en el WhatsApp eh, esos correos que ustedes crearon, okay? Now, is there anybody else who wants to share it? The email? Jonathan? Lo voy a enviar al WhatsApp. Uh, okay, so, uh, read it right here. There's not any problem. Read it, please. Realmente no lo he terminado. Okay, so finish it, please. Okay, voy a esperar cinco personas que lo que lo coloquen en el WhatsApp para continuar. Okay, espero cinco correos ahorita en el WhatsApp. Para luego continuar. Voy a cerrar el micrófono cuando vea a las cinco personas que lo compartan. Eh, continuamos, ¿ok? Thank you, Daniel. Okay, thank you, Claudia. Have two people, I'm missing three people. Faltan tres personas. Okay, Ada, thank you, Ada. Wow, that's quite good. Edgar, I got the other one. I hope you're doing well, I'm writing too. Okay. Uh, M.A., I don't know who, who's M.A. I think it's Maria, right? Wow, people, you are doing a great job. Let's see, one, two, Three, four, oh, we're done with it. Okay, we're done with it. We have five. Ya tenemos cinco ahí, como, como, ya tenemos cinco como, como prueba fehaciente de que 
hemos estado trabajando ahí. Eh, espero ver los demás, ¿ok? Espero ver los demás correos en el grupo, ¿ok? A modo de ir dejando plasmado también en el grupo qué es lo que nosotros hacemos acá. Perfect. Perfect, people. I, I saw... Sí, Berenice, ok, Berenice. Dear George. Ok, you can see the, the, the information in the WhatsApp group. Great. <laughs> yeah. But, hey, you know, Berenice is working uh, by... by Uh, writing down, handwriting, and also by typing. And I got Antonio so in here. Good. Quite good. Very good, people. Okay, now, if you didn't share it now, si todavía no lo han compartido, pues lo comparten luego. A modo, pues, que quede plasmado ahí lo, lo que hemos estado trabajando. Now, yes. Let us try to continue. This is quite important. Okay. Yesterday, we were working with this part, right? Okay, this is the PDF guide. Yesterday, we were working on page number nine. Okay. And over here we have some uh, activities, okay? Now in these activities, well, you're gonna work in pairs. You're gonna work in pairs because this page, you need to work it by your own. Okay, lo voy a, lo voy a poner a trabajar en parejas. Uh, Cristóbal, you're not in the WhatsApp group. Cristóbal puede dirigirse al correo que le enviaron de inglés corporativo ahí está el enlace para que usted se pueda unir al whatsapp ok so what are we gonna do people eso que vamos a hacer activities you do on a regular monday check my email type a letter write a report attend the meeting call clients read the report visit clients, organize meetings. Okay, Cristobal, in case you have any problem, just let me know it. Now, what are you gonna do in purse? ¿Qué es lo que vas a hacer en parejas? Van a completar estas oraciones, okay? Las van a completar en pareja y después de eso van a trabajar en la presentación de lo que ustedes hacen regularmente en su trabajo. Tienen dos opciones. I'm working this moment. Ok, Belén. Ok, Belén. All right. So, Belén, it's not going to be able to. De igual manera, pues, bueno, lo voy a poner a trabajar en, en grupos de tres en caso, pues, alguien, pues, no esté como oyente, no, no va a poder este, colaborar, ¿verdad? Pero sí. Los pongo a trabajar en grupos de tres, entonces ahí sí. ¿Ok? Todos trabajando. Tienen, tienen dos opciones. O lo hacen de manera individual y lo comparten en el grupo. O hacen una pequeña conversación. ¿Ok? Pueden utilizar el vocabulario que hemos estado utilizando, que hemos estado estudiando. ¿Ok? Y 
en estos 15 minutos que yo les voy a asignar, ustedes tienen que estar seguros de que pueden describir sus actividades regulares en el lugar donde trabajan. ¿Ok? Si ustedes consideran que le pueden agregar pues, más vocabulario, como por ejemplo el que vimos ahora, desde contarnos del momento que ustedes se despiertan, eh, lo que hacen antes de ir al trabajo, luego cuando lleguen al trabajo, qué es lo que ustedes hacen, ¿verdad? ¿Quién es la persona que regularmente siempre saludan cuando llegan? Eh, etcétera. Todas las actividades que ustedes hacen, ¿verdad? ¿A qué horas toman su, su almuerzo? ¿A qué horas toman quizás algún descanso, si en caso lo hay? Um, etcétera. Eso es trabajar ahorita en la página 10. ¿Está clara la actividad que vamos a hacer en este momento? ¿Sí está claro? Yes. All right. Sí. Okay. Ok, si hay alguien, eh, traten, de, traten de colaborar mucho, de, digamos, si lo van a hacer de manera individual, escuchen a la otra persona, y si ustedes mmm, saben que o consideran que quizás hay un, alguna palabra que de, deben de, de investigarla, pues háganlo para pronunciarlo bien cuando ya regresemos al grupo de manera general. Tengo conectado 19 personas. Veamos, vamos a hacer los grupos ahorita. Okay, see you soon. You, you have 15 minutes.
Okay, remember the purpose of working in groups is for you to interact each other, with each other, okay? La intención de trabajar en grupo es porque también necesito que interactúen y que se vayan conociendo mejor a modo de ir este, generando más confianza en el grupo. Berenice, do you listen to me? En Teresa, ah, well. Yes, teacher, I listen to you. Oh, okay. Every Monday le ponemos el every day. Every day morning. Oh, in the morning sería. Vaya, entonces yo le voy a preguntar what do you do every day in the morning? Okay. Ahí va a venir usted y me va a responder de acuerdo a lo que usted Ah, se ve. Por ejemplo, así como dijo él, se despierta a tales horas, luego, este, no, no o sea, normalmente se despierta a tales horas y luego se levanta a tales horas. Después, no sé qué, él toma un baño, lava sus dientes y sale a trabajar a tales horas y llega a su trabajo. A las ocho, por ejemplo. Sí. Un ejemplo. Entonces, no sé si me da la información y vemos cómo la, la, la escribimos ya de un solo en el diálogo. Vale, según sí. sus palabras, en español. Sí. Ajá. O sea, ¿cómo me preguntaría? Dice? Vale, yo le voy a preguntar qué hace eh, todos los días en la mañana. What, Todos los días en la mañana. What do you okay? En las mañanas, ajá. What do you do every day in the morning? Every morning. Me llaman eso, o sea, la respuesta. Vaya, ajá. Eso es lo que yo le voy a preguntar. Luego usted me va a responder eh, a qué hora se levanta. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Y a qué hora se, 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 ajá, se levanta o se despierta primero y después se levanta? No sé, así como dijo él. Entonces, eh, bueno, él me dijo que me va a preguntar, ¿What do you do? Y yo tengo que, que darle la respuesta. ¿Lo va a anotar usted en español o en inglés? Vaya diciéndome en, en español y yo voy a ir anotándolo en inglés. Creo que tal vez. Yeah. <risa> Bye. <risa> Si no le digo en inglés, pues. Va, dígame pues. Mm, hay, como decía en el grupo, hay guay, wake up uh, at 3 p.m. But hay stand up. ¿A, eh, ¿a, qué hora, ¿A qué hora se levanta, dice? Es que me despierto a las 3, va. Espérame, 3 espérame. de la mañana. Ah. Pero, o sea, me levanto ya. Mm. Hijo, ya se nos va a terminar el tiempo. <risa> no, pero no, pero no. Entonces comenzaría, comenzaría usted con el diálogo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Good evening, Jonathan. How are you? Fine. And about you? Eh, ajá. Fine, fine. Fine, fine. Thanks. Le puedo poner más. Eh, Bien. I'm good, uh, very good. Um, oh, bueno, también, va. Very good, thank you. Bueno. Así como que estamos bien encendidos, buena onda, <risa> así, bien animados, todo. excelente. <risa> bueno, ahí pongamos la pregunta, entonces, what? 
Do you do yeah. what do you do work day? Every day yes. for it, yeah. Uh, what do you do? ¿Qué hacemos en el en el en, en un día de trabajo? Uh -huh. Bueno, y si le preguntamos mejor eh, dónde trabajas, where do you work? La, 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 la conversación es escribir las actividades que hacemos, como estamos viendo, ah. routine. O sea, las actividades uh -huh. que hacemos en el día de trabajo. Uh -huh. Ahí tenemos que poner varias actividades de las que hacemos en el trabajo. Sí, es más amplio, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ajá. Por ejemplo, lo que siempre hace, bueno, yo siempre hago eso, que el, el no más llegar. Siempre reviso el, el correo. Ajá. Su trabajo es eh, administrativo. ¿sí? Administrativo, sí, sí, administrativo. Ups. ¿Qué pasa? Entonces, el punto 6 lo hacemos individual. Sí, va. Individual, porque okay. vamos a terminar. Ok. Ajá, las actividades que hacemos. Pero podemos, creo que pudiéramos ir las mencionadas en la mención de las que hacemos acá. ¿Siguen viendo mi pantalla? Sí, sí, sí. ¿Sí? ¿Qué están viendo ahorita? ¿El WhatsApp? <risa> no, la, el, el PDF, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 PDF. Ok. Write what you do on regular work day. Check with your classmate to see.
Hello, everyone. How is it? Do you work a lot? I hope you got something, right? To share with the group. I hope so, right? So let's say I have 17 people. Well, two people are... Hello, Daniel. Oh, very good, Daniel. I got your email. Oh, that's the activity that we, we have. It's not the email, right? So it's the activity that you created just right now. Hola. Um, entonces eh, vamos a, a exponerlo. Ok. Oh. Pues... Eh, no sé, teacher, le preguntaba algo a Daniel o porque él iba conmigo o no sé si solamente era comentario. No, I mean, if, if you're ready, you can um... start now, right? Mm, creo que sí. Okay, so let's start with Jonathan and Daniel. Yes, yes, Jonathan and Daniel. No sé si puede compartir eh, eh, compartiría entonces el, 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 lo, lo redactado de Word. Eh, yes, okay. ya, ya lo compartí ahí en el en el chat. En el chat, muy bien. Ya de, en el WhatsApp. Mm. Bueno, entonces eh, lo comenzamos. Si quiere lo lee usted, Jonathan. Please, Jonathan. Um, yes. Bueno, es que eh, bueno, comenzaba usted si llevamos el diálogo. Entonces, ah. Okay. Good evening, Jonathan. How are you? Good evening, Daniel. I'm fine. And about you? Very good. What do you do on work day? Yo le preguntaba, uh, what do you do on work day? Uh -huh. I go to work at AIM. I check my email and that answer the emails. I take stock and write a report. I take a lunch at 12 o'clock. Okay. Um, finish, porque si no, nos quedó un poquito corto, sí, realmente estábamos en proceso y se nos acabó el tiempo. Pero um, no sé si quisiera agregarle un poco más así improvisado. O lo dejamos hasta ahí, teacher. It's all right, Jonathan. It's all right. Mm -hmm. And um, well, later, I know that you were also working on a page number 11. We're going to see the exercises later, okay? Lo vamos a chequear okay. eh, como grupo al final los ejercicios de la página 11. Okay? Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, Berenice, I don't know if you got something. Ya, yeah, uh, solo en el grupo de WhatsApp lo pude poner porque en el, en el grupo que estaba, pues no me respondieron, no pudimos trabajarlo en grupo. Ok, do me the favor to read what you got, please, Berenice. Ok, give me a second. After Berenice, we're going to have Miguel, Norma, and Veraliz, ok? Well, I am I wake up every day at 6 o'clock a.m. And I cut the breaks for my son. He going to the school bus at theta 15 a.m. And then before I prepare my computer for let's start my shift that is seven o'clock at 5 p.m. Okay, quite good. 
And you shared the information in, in the WhatsApp group also, right, Veronisa? Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Miguel, Michael, Michael's yes. group. Hello, hello. With, with. Esmeralda. Vaya, ahorita, ahorita. Uh, hello, Miguel. What do you do every day in the morning? Uh, hi, Esmeralda. I wake up at 3 p.m., but I get up at 7 a.m. and take a shower for 30 minutes and break and take a shower for 30 minutes and breakfast at 8 a.m. I go to work at 8 8.30 and what about you Veralis? I usually wake up at 6 a.m. and I get up at 6 30 a.m. I take a shower and brush my teeth, then leave half out eight. I work from 8 30 a.m. to 5 30 p.m. Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. That was a really nice conversation. Uh, later, well, I, I'm thinking about something that you will create later. Okay, and let me see what Daniel is doing. Edgar, Edgar's group. But uh, there we have uh, Gladys and Oscar, right? Teacher, a mí se me fue la señal al último momento, entonces yo hice individual. Ah, ok, Gladys. <laughs> Igual, teacher. It's ok, Oscar, ok, so Gladys, you start. Okay. ok. I go to the work at 7, 3 a.m. Um, every day I answer customer calls. I check bank accounts. Um, I approve customer order every day and I take a lunch at 12 o'clock. Finish. Fantastic. Okay, ahora de mío, teacher. Hey, Oscar. Um, good night. Uh, my daily activities at work are checking the evidence of repairing machinery, schedule meetings, um, sending emails. Okay, that was it. Okay, thank you, Oscar. That was quite good also. And I wonder if Edgar can listen to me. Are you ready, Edgar? Yes, sure. My activity work day is in the morning. I check my email. I organize the activities of the day. I have a coffee before starting up the activities. I verify the execution of the activities assigned to the staff. And I take my lunch at 12 o'clock. All right. Quite good. Thank you, Edgar. Fantastic. So that was group number four. I have no group number four. And that's Aníbal and Maribel, right? No nos pudimos conectar, teacher. Este, con Maribel, no sé qué habrá pasado. Quizás estaba esperando la señal. Yeah, but maybe the, the, I, I saw some, some messages in the WhatsApp group and, and I consider that there was some people face like some technical problems. That, and that's why I told you, right, to work individual, individually. I don't know if you got something, Aníbal. Well, 
Or Maribel, is Maribel over here? Yeah, Maribel is there, right? Hello, teacher. Hello, Maribel. Eh, si tengo problemas de conexión, eh, lo hice individual. Ok. En el grupo de WhatsApp, ah, lo puse. Ah, ok. Could you please read the info? Ok. Good evening. I work at QSR or I am what uh, that job mean start working um singular array. I reveal the sole of learning in some from in a provision the books and agenda for the next day to priority. Um, good work that I allow in the computer look launch and anti on on the day. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, Maribel. Thank you very much. Is there anybody else missing? Falta alguien que, que, que no haya participado? Okay, I think everybody did it, right? So that was quite good. Now, we're going to try to finish the activity by solving the exercises we have in the in the book in the PDF guide. So you were working with it, right? So you you have some vocabulary over here, like, like the regular activities a person does on Mondays, like checking email, a reading a, a report, typing a letter, visit clients, writing a report, organizing meetings, attending uh, meetings, uh, calling clients, etc. right? So we have to complete the sentences below uh, with one of the activity from the box. Compare your answer with the partner. Now, now that you did it, do me the favor to type the, the answer in the chat. I will copy the information and I will type it. For example, in the first one, you know, I call clients every day. I call clients every day. Now, what about number two? What would be possible answer there? A possible uh, expression. Our secretary, then she sends them via email. Our secretary. Our secretary. Right, I report. Uh, right. Or rights. Rights. Okay. Rights reports. And then she sends them uh, via email. Right. Very good. That's a that's a possible answer, right? How do you, how would you like to complete number three? Mm, I I check my email. Check email. Okay. I check my email. Twice a day. I use my laptop. Computer. Number four, I have two every Monday at eight. Let me see. Wait to report. 
I have to. Somebody said it. I had to attend a meeting. Attend a meeting. I, I, I had to attend a meeting. I have to attend a meeting. It's double E, right? It's not double T. I have to attend a meeting every Monday at eight. Good. I think I have the last one over here. Celia, the meetings take place in the auditorium. Organized meeting. Celia organizes. Nice. Very good. Fantastic. Organizes meetings. I'm oh, sorry, meeting is the, was there. Anyway, sorry, that was my mistake. Uh, Celia organizes meetings. Uh, take place in the auditorium. Quite good. Any questions so far? No questions? No questions, people? Nice. Is everything all right? No question. Okay, very good. Okay, now, listen, this is quite important. Esto es sumamente importante. Eso de alguna manera nos hace reflexionar. Let me see. Nos hace reflexionar acerca de nuestros avances. Okay, todo lo que nos... De un parámetro nos puede servir. Por ejemplo, now I can describe regular activities in the workplace. Soy capaz de describir actividades que regularmente hago en mi lugar de trabajo. Y hay tres opciones. Independently, lo hago de manera individual, con ayuda, o eh, ocasionalmente con ayuda, o solamente con ayuda lo hago. Entonces, de alguna manera... Eso nos puede ayudar, ¿verdad? A ir visualizando nuestros avances. Además de eso, pues, es bueno que vayamos reflexionando. Esta es nuestra segunda clase. Eh, no creo que nos quede tiempo como para, para visualizar qué es lo que ustedes tienen en el documento Word, pero vamos a, hacer, vamos a hacer dos cosas. Vamos a trabajar en el ejercicio de la plataforma que corresponde a esta noche. Si no han hecho el anterior, háganlo por favor, mientras yo um, paso la asistencia. Si ya hicieron los ejercicios, pueden mm, terminar de detallar algunas cosas en su documento Word. ¿Ok? Ok. Let me see. I will check list attendance. Mm -hmm. Profe, ¿y ese documento está en el correo o en el WhatsApp? Uh, Michael, es un documento que yo les he pedido que lo abran todas las noches. ¿Verdad? Eso ustedes lo, lo, va, lo, lo van a generar. Cada noche ustedes van este, plasmando algo que ustedes saben que se lo aprendieron en la clase. ¿Ok? Como alguna oración, vocabulario... A apuntes de la clase, es lo que yo necesito ver en ese documento si usted no, pues está trabajando con un celular, pues tenga un cuadernito a la mano y eso también es válido ok ok, ok ok, list it in the second time uh, Aidan Present. Belén. Claudia Verónica. Daniel. Present, teacher. Dina Maribel. Ok, Dina. Edgar. Que Gladys Rubidia. Present teacher. Que Jonathan. Present teacher. María Elba. Present teacher. 
Mario Cristóbal. Eh, Marta Berenice. I'm here. Good. Michael. Noé, Noé Aníbal. Present teacher. Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Oscar Antonio. Present teacher. Ronan. Teresa. Present teacher. Okay, Ronan. Teresa. And Vera Liz. I'm here, teacher. Wow, congratulations. Everybody was in the class tonight. Te tuvimos un 100% esta noche. Me encanta. Ayer tuvimos, pues, casi el 100%. Estuvo fantástico y pues, hoy estuvo súper, súper genial. Todos estuvieron presentes. Me encanta. Ah, uh, well. Pero me dicen, like, seven minutes. Ok, en honor al programa que tenemos, vamos a, a dedicar unos cinco minutos a, a, a ir visualizando algunos detalles, ok. Uh, let me see, alguien. Ok, Claudia, I got it. Reacciones. Tenemos cinco minutos, un poquito más de cinco minutos para ir este, pensando en nuestro aprendizaje. ¿Está siendo significativo o falta algo que podamos agregarle? Todo participante debe entender que en inglés y en cualquier otro idioma que estemos aprendiendo siempre van a estar las cuatro destrezas, ¿verdad? Listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Eh, ¿Identifican ustedes esas partes o algunas de esas partes en la clase de este día? Si sí, digo el listening, eh, ¿practicamos un poco el listening? Sí. Yes. ¿Identificamos sonidos este día? El solo hecho de exponernos en la clase casi, casi, casi el 100% en inglés, eso nos ayuda muchísimo. Al inicio yo les decía, quizás no entendamos todo, pero el solo hecho de estar, estar expuesto al idioma, pues nos hace crecer. Eh, nos acostumbramos a sonidos, vamos identificando palabras, etcétera. Y aparte de eso, pues hay ejercicios directamente relacionados al listening, como el que, eh, con el que iniciamos ahora. Ahí hay un quiz y hay vocabulario. El día de mañana espero este, que lo tengan resuelto, okay, porque vamos a iniciar por ahí de nuevo. No crean que las actividades que ah, ya vimos esa, esa conversación con el teacher, ya la pasamos, ya estuvo. No, yo me dedico a reciclar lenguaje también. Y a verificar que mis, que mis participantes efectivamente están aprendiendo. Y no solamente, ah, ya pasó esa actividad, entonces vamos con otra. Uh -uh. Entonces, pues eso quedaría pendiente. Hay un quiz, que okay, el quiz es laboratorio y hay una actividad de vocabulario ahí también. Uh, no sé si alguien quisiera uh, participar. Eh, comentando algo, cómo han sentido, vamos muy rápido, va lento, uh, cómo invierten su tiempo en el día para aprender, de alguna manera se conectan con el idioma durante el día o si realmente se les hace imposible, ¿Y cómo, cómo hacen para mantenerse, porque esto, miren, para aprender un segundo idioma uno hay que enamorarse ¿okay? del idioma. Hay que enamorarse. Cuando usted se enamora de los que ya están casados, cuando se enamoraron de su esposita, se recuerda que cuando eran novios, día y noche, mensaje tras mensaje. ¿Verdad? Y el mensaje ella, el mensaje usted, el mensaje él, el mensaje ella. Y no paraban hasta que se formaron una, una bonita familia. Y miren, pues en inglés es lo mismo. 
estar conectado todo el tiempo, conectado, aprenderme una frase, aprenderme que unas cinco palabras diarias, pero bien pronunciadas y el significado. Eh, de esa manera, pues yo siempre noto que algunos participantes como que de repente eh, se notan como avances más, más significativos. Si alguien pudiera decir, bueno, ¿y cómo es que fulano de tal va como, como más? A... Si empezamos desde cero, o sea, yo lo vengo viendo desde el básico, decimos. ¿Y cómo es que él de repente ya él anda hablando como que fuera de intermedio? Y yo todavía no. Ah, sucede que hay personas que se dedican a, a estudiar por ellas mismas. Y, y se, se ponen metas. Metas a corto plazo, metas a mediano plazo y metas a largo plazo. Entonces, si usted dice, metas a corto plazo, me voy a aprender una conversación, me voy a aprender que un diálogo, uh, voy a escuchar algún speech de alguna persona famosa y voy a buscar el, el significado de las palabras que no entienda. O sea, y se dedican, quizás mmm, no de lleno, porque yo sé que ustedes todos son personas muy ocupadas, pero... Eh, hacen algún espacio por ahí. Entonces, esas son algunas de las recomendaciones y ya van a ver que, pues, todos van a avanzar al mismo tiempo si siguen esas recomendaciones. ¿verdad? Hay cosas que, bueno, presente simple, hay tantos verbos. Apenas hemos visto quizás unos 50 y algunos otros que por ahí, desde el básico uno, pero en realidad son, son bastantes verbos en, en el... En el grupo de WhatsApp, si mal no me recuerdo, eh, Jonathan, no me, no me recuerdo si fue eh, Veraliz, parece que fue quien, quien compartió un, un listado de verbos como de dos, 300, no sé cuántos verbos eran. ¿Verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. esos creo verbos, sí. sí, ¿verdad? Esos verbos a estas alturas, yo creo que no debe de quedar solo ahí en el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Sino que si alguien lo comparte, lo hace con todo el las mejores intenciones y por lo menos unos cinco diarios hay que aprenderse. Aquí no sé si hay alguna participación de parte suya. ¿Algún consejo que le quieran dar a sus compañeros? Daniel. No. <laughs> so, si no hay eh, comentarios o, o alguna participación, pues lo dejamos acá. Espero que hagan la actividad de esta noche antes de irse a dormir, porque yo seguro que si no lo reviso ahora en la noche, lo reviso mañana. No se preocupen que sí lo voy a hacer. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good night, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Good night teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Good night, teacher.
Profe. Michael. Este, ¿dónde encuentro el documento? Que aquí no, o sea, para ir haciendo la tarea. Eh, ¿De la plataforma? Sí. Eh, no. Métase al correo que le enviaron. Está en su laptop, ahorita. No, en el teléfono. ¿En el teléfono? Sí. Eh, bueno, lo, estuve, en el... lo estuve buscando en, la, en el día y no. Yo no sé si. Este, no, ¿No tiene una laptop por ahí cerquita o, o solo con el celular puede trabajar? Sí, solo con el teléfono. Va, entonces, este, igual, métase a su correo uh -huh. y ahí hay una parte donde le dice, permítame. Enlace para la plataforma. Quiero ver, aquí lo tengo. Va, le, voy a, le voy a enviar el enlace aquí al, al, al en el chat. Okay. Y ahí le va a pedir la información y usted pues ya, ya lo completa, ¿verdad? Bueno. Vale. Ahí está en el chat. Ok, ok. Cualquier cosa, me avisa, eh, Miguel. Yo voy a estar conectado hasta como por ahí, como por las 11. Ok, ok. Ok. Ok, ya está mañana. Sí, soon. Sí, soon.